Hello everyone. Today we will do exercise 9.2 of unit 9 that is money. So let's begin with question number 3. Question number 3 is to add. So here some amounts are given and we need to add them. Like part A rupees 414.79 and rupees 71.08. So we will write the unit rupees in common on the top and then we will write the amounts. That is 414.79 plus 71.08 and we will add them and after addition when we will get the sum we will write it like this therefore sum is equals to rupees 485.87 now part b rupees 139.82 rupees 412.34 and rupees 101.95 we have to add these three amounts so in the same way, we will write the unit rupees in common on the top and then we will write three amounts. That is 139.82, 412.34, 101.95 and we will add these amounts. And we will get the final answer as 654.11. Next is question number 4. Pankaj spent rupees 525.39 on dress and rupees 139.85 on books. How much money did he spend? So Pankaj is a boy who spent uh, money on two things. One is on dress and another is on books. So we need to find the total amount that he spent. So let's write the solution. Money spent by Pankaj on dress that is rupees 525.39. Money spent by him on books, rupees 139.85. Therefore, money he spent in all. We will write the symbol rupees in common on the top and then we will write the money he spent on two things, that is on dress and on books. That is 525.39 plus 139.85. Now we will add them and we will get the final answer as rupees 665.24. Next is question number 5. Karuna bought a sari for rupees 375, 370.75 and spent rupees 39.85 on auto rickshaw. How much total money did she spend? So, Karuna, she bought a sari, and for that, obviously, she went to the market. And when she went to the market, she used auto rickshaw, so she spent money on that also. So, the cost of sari to her will be the amount for which she bought the sari and the amount she spent on auto rickshaw, and that is what we need to find. How much total money did she spend and write the solution sentence also? So let's write the solution. First of all, Karuna bought a sari for rupees 370.75. Money she spent on auto rickshaw, rupees 39.85. Therefore, total money she spent. Now we will add both these amounts. Okay. The money for which she bought sari and money she spent on auto rickshaw. We will write the unit rupees in common on the top and then we will write both the amounts 370.75 and 39.85. So we will add both these amounts and we will get the answer as rupees 410.60. So this is the total money she spent. Now how to write the solution sentence? She spent rupees 410.60. Fine, because it was asked to us that how much total money did she spend. So that is what we are supposed to write in the solution sentence. She spent rupees 410.60. Now, next question. Question number 6. Rithik bought a pen for rupees 80.90, a book for rupees 139.75 and spent rupees 65.85 on lunch. What did he spend in all? Now, Hrithik, he went to the market to buy a pen and a book. But when she went to the, when he went to the market, he also had lunch. So, he um, spent some amount on lunch also. So, it means we need to find the total amount he spent in all the things. Okay, that is to buy a pen, book and whatever he spent on lunch. We need to add all those three amounts. So let's write the solution. Rithik bought a pen for rupees 80.90, a 
a book for rupees 139.75 he spent on lunch that is rupees 65.85 therefore money he spent in all for that we need to add all the three amounts that is 80.90 139.75 and 65.85 and the symbol of rupees we will write in common on the top now we will add all these three amounts and we will get the final answer as rupees 286.50 so this is what he spent in all next is question number 8 anisha bought a book for rupees 48.70 and sold it for rupees 10.35 less how much money did she get for the book now anisha first of all bought a book for 48.70 rupees then she sold it to somebody but how much for how much she sold she sold it for rupees 10.35 less of what of whatever she bought the book for if she had bought the book for rupees 48.70 she sold it for rupees 10.35 less than 48.70 so how to find the uh, money she got for the book let's see anisha bought a book for rupees 48.70 she sold it for rupees 10.35 less so let us find out for how much she sold the book therefore money she got for the book write the symbol of rupees in common then write the money for which she bought the book on the top that is 48.70 and subtract rupees 10.35 from it then the amount that we will get after subtraction it will be the money she got for book and this is for what she sold the book okay so answer is rupees 38.35 now next question question number 9 manisha got rupees 75.30 from her father and her brother rohit got rupees 67.85 how much money did manisha get more than her brother so just by just looking at the question we can easily find out that manisha got more money as compared to her brother now we need to find how much more money she got so let's write the solution money manisha got from her father it is rupees 75.30 money her brother got it is rupees 67.85 therefore money manisha got more than her brother for that we need to subtract so write the symbol of rupees in common on the top and then first of all write the greater amount the bigger amount that is the amount manisha got that is 75.30 and subtract the amount that her brother got that is 67.85 and then subtract them and after subtraction whatever we will get that is 7.45 so she got rupees 7.45 more than her brother next is question number 10 Anushka got rupees seventy five point seventy five from her mother, and rupees sixty from her father. She bought a book for rupees fifty nine point ninety. How much money does she have now? Now, just uh, relate yourself to Anushka. See what you do when you get money from somebody. Like you got uh, money from your father and mother. What will you do first? First of all, you will combine that money. Means you will add that money to know that how much money you are having. So similarly, you will do in this question. First of all, you will combine the money. You will add the money that Anushka got from her mother and father. And after that. after combining the money after adding the money then you go out for purchasing something fine so similarly she did so let's do the solution money anushka got from her mother that is rupees 75.75 money she got from her father that is rupees 60 total money she got first of all she will add the money so you please add both the amounts use the uh, write the symbol of rupees in common on the top and add both the amounts 75.75 and 60 so what you will get you will get rupees 135.75 now after adding the money she went out to buy a book so she bought a book for rupees 59.90 out of what out of the total money she got from her mother and father therefore money she have now means what is the money that is left with her for that we need to subtract 
So write the total money she had on the top that is rupees 135.75 and subtract the amount that she spent on book that is rupees 59.90. After subtraction you will get rupees 75.85. So this is the money that she had after purchasing the book. So this is the money she have now. Next question, question number 11, subtract. Now here in this question, we need to subtract the given amounts. Part A, 18 rupees 9 pesa from 75 rupees 80 pesa. Means whatever is written after uh, from that is greater. So it will be written on the top and you will subtract this amount from it. So write the symbol of rupees in common on the top and then 75.80 on the top because 75 is rupees it will be written before decimal and 80 is pesa so it will be written after decimal and then the first amount that is 18 rupees and 9 pesa so write 18 under the rupees side and 9 pesa under the pesa and I had already told you that you have to write pesa in two digits so if, if it is 9 pesa you have to write it as 0 9 and now you can subtract it after subtraction you will get 57.71 so the answer of subtraction is difference so we can write it like this therefore difference is rupees 57.71 now part b 49 rupees 79 pesa from 123 rupees 68 pesa obviously whatever is written after from that is greater and it will be written on the top so use the symbol of rupee on the top in common then 123.68 because 123 is rupees it will be written before decimal and 68 is pesa so it will be written after decimal. Then subtract 49 rupees 79 pesa from it. 49 will be written before decimal and 79 after decimal. Now you can subtract it. After subtraction you will get the difference as rupees 73.89. So, I hope you would have understood the exercise.